I mean, it's mm, it's very know. hard. Like we we really wanted the whole Dominators thing to start on Supergirl so that we could say that maybe she's the reason why she's so pro alien is that so it could leave the Earth susceptible to attack. Yes, and it would like tie in perfectly then she would have to bring him barry for some help and and do all this but it's the other way around uh, yeah sadly it, it's gonna start actually the arrow episode is called invasion Okay. Hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ with my bros, Jeremy. What's good? And the Spirit of Bears. Bring you another weekly recap of Supergirl. This week's episode is called Welcome to Earth. Roll the clip. Monel awakens and attacks Kara before escaping the DEO. John worries that his escape will be a problem since the president will be arriving in National City to meet Supergirl. During her arrival, an unseen assailant attacks her, but she is saved by Kara. Kara suspects Monel when Alex tells her that the heat signatures from the attack match heat ray vision. Alex then crosses paths with Detective Maggie Sawyer and they take an instant dislike towards each other. The team brings Madam President back to the DEO to protect her, and Kara heads to Luther Corp after being sent on an assignment by Snapper. At Luther Corp, Lena shows Kara a device which can detect superhumans and aliens, then asks Kara to test it out. She manages to manipulate the device with her heat ray vision to pass the test. Alex continues to search for Monel and gets a lead from Wynn. She finds Maggie Sawyer at the scene, telling her that they just missed him. Monel attacks a warehouse worker, asking for a way to get back home. Kara scolds Alex for trying to find Monel on her own before she heads out to give Snapper her report on Lena. Alex meets with Maggie, and they head to a bar filled with aliens. Maggie reveals that she relates to them, and they can get some answers. One alien gives them a lead on Monel, and they take their information to Wynn, who figures out that Monel beamed a signal to a planet called Daxum. Kara finds him, and they engage in battle. She eventually overpowers him and takes him back to the DEO. The team tries to figure out why Monel tried to kill the president, and Kara goes to question him. Monel tells Kara that he was not behind the attack, and that he just wanted to go home. Back at Luther Corp, Kara talks to Lena again and apologizes for the story Snapper made her write. The team watch over the president at a pep rally when an alien with pyrokinesis attack. She abducts Maggie and then escapes. Alex goes back to the bar where she and Maggie had gone to earlier to question the same alien. Another alien, later revealed to be Miss Martian, tells her where the rogue alien went. Kara confronts the alien at an abandoned warehouse and they fight. The trio team up and take her down. An enraged Snapper tries to lash out at Jimmy for rewriting a story, but Jimmy tells Snapper to respect him to stay out of his lane. At the DEO, Maggie thinks Alex for saving her before she leaves. Kara gives Monel a chance and apologizes for judging him without getting to know his story. She then tells him that his home, Daxum, is gone, just like Krypton. Madame President thanks the team before she leaves, and when she walks away, she is revealed to be some sort of alien. John goes to an alien bar and meets the bartender who transforms into a Martian named McGann Moore. What will Monel do now that he knows the truth about his home world? What is Madame President? What's going to happen between Alex and Maggie Sawyer? What will happen next between John Jones and McGann Moore? And what is going to happen that takes Kara to that underground alien fight club? Find out in the next episode of Supergirl. All right, so one sentence to describe this episode. Well, hello, Earthling. <laughs> nice. I say Supergirl versus mon versus Scorcher versus D.E.O. versus whatever the hell the president is. New characters introduced this week. We have mon We have already known who he was, right? Yeah. Because we mentioned him back in the summer. Yeah. We actually theorized that it was going to be him in the pod. But they is, actually acknowledged it this yes. episode. Uh, he, brief, brief description. He's a Daxamite. He has similar powers to a Kryptonian. Yeah. Just not as powerful, I guess, because, you know, he got his ass handed to him. <laughs> yeah, so he's he's a pretty cool character. Then we have McGann Moores, aka Miss Martian, and Whoa. that is pretty self explanatory. She's basically John, but a girl. Yeah. And she's the last daughter of Mars. There we go. I was about to say Krypton, so <laughs> thank you. And we don't know the extent of her abilities other than she shape shifted this episode. Yeah. And she shaped it. She that give it. She shaped it. She shape shifted into something that was like identical to John, like Jean. Like yeah. I don't know if there's their true form, which I it is actually, isn't it? That's how they look. Which like how Jean turns into because you know how he has different forms. I think that's how they they made them look. They don't have any other look. Yeah, I think you're right. So yeah, we're gonna have to learn more about her character, but it's presumed that she has the same abilities as John. Mm-hmm. 
Then we have Madame President. I love how they call her Madame. <laughs> and her real name is Olivia Marsden, who is obviously the president of the United States. Yeah. Um, she's very accepting of the aliens, and she it's it's sort of the, the way her character is portrayed. is It's interesting because it's like real life with immigrants, people from different cultures here in America, and how people have different views. She's sort of like that person that wants to give everybody a chance. Yeah. So it's interesting to see them have a character that's socially re- relevant to us now. And yeah, she's pro alien and kind of wants to get them out there so they don't have to hide all the time. But she might be something else. Please don't. Entirely. I, I, <laughs> yes, you stopped it. Next person, Maggie Sawyer. She is a detective. I think she's from National City or she might have moved to National City and she sort of butts heads with Alex and the DEO. She wants to figure out she shows up to figure out the attack on the president this episode. Yeah. And she actually knows a lot more about aliens than she lets on earlier in the episode. She's actually so close to them that she dates them. Yeah. Which is interesting. Comic book counterpart, of course, is way different than her. She's actually a supporting character of Batgirl, but that's some trivia for you people. And they date too, so that's interesting. Villain for this episode, Scorcher. Yeah. They didn't even name her in the episode, did they? No, they didn't even say what her... She didn't have an alias or anything like that. They just... I had to look that up and, and see what name they came up with and I found that in the cast credits so mm. I'm just gonna go based off of that she basically has the power of pyrokinesis and she's a pretty cool bad guy yeah. I mean a, a weak what do you call those villain of the week but uh, still a really cool villain Okay. so going into character interactions team Supergirl and Madame President again we reiterate that she was very for the aliens and she got along yeah. with Kara and John uh, yes and Alex basically everybody and they're fangirling over her which is i thought was really funny yeah and they they kept her protected while they try to figure out what was going on or who attacked her so she ended up staying at the deo and i think that's pretty much it for that interaction they didn't really like dive deep into it other than she was really nice to them yeah then you got kara on monel and that just that whole thing they just got off on the wrong foot with each other yeah uh, um, I mean, who just like wakes up and chokes out the nearest person? Ah! Yeah, her face—it was so funny. She was like, "Ah, <laughs> I'll be here for you." <laughs> just get choked out. Throws her through a glass panel, yeah. and then jacks up everybody at the DEO, and then just runs su- like he super speeds off. And then when Kara, you know, battles him a, a couple more times, they have that rivalry there that's between the Kryptonians and the Daxamites. Mm. I, I didn't know that that's how they're going to do the backstory. So it's interesting that it's it was like it made sense. You know what I'm saying? Like why they didn't like each other for a little bit. Yeah. Not like, oh, I hate you because I don't know you. Like they actually didn't get along because their two races didn't get along. Yeah. Yeah. So they had a little animosity towards each other. And then Kara realized that they just had a total misunderstanding. And then she told him about his home world. And it, it sucks. Yes. Both Daxum and... Krypton. Krypton gone. Yeah. So at least they have something else in common other than they both are super people. And at the end there, they kind of establish a rapport and they, Kara might, you know, have a, a potential love interest and a uh, ally in the field other oh, than no, John Jones. not another one. This one makes more sense to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As someone who really might understand her, but it'll be interesting to see where that relationship goes. Well, yeah, goes. they have similar backstories. Yeah. yeah. Kara and Alex, it seems like Kara's been... The big sister these last few episodes. Uh, Alex has been pretty reckless as far as getting herself into danger without yeah. consulting Kara. And these are the scenes. This is for bears. This is for you. Spirit of bears. We uh, do understand that there needs to be that that sort of or those sort of scenes in the show because at its heart, it has to be relatable to us. Right. Superheroes don't just go home and, and they're not superheroes all the time. They're, they're trying yeah. to be regular people who have regular problems. So we get that it needs to be in there. It, it was it was better this episode. They didn't like linger on it too much. Like, oh, my God, like I broke a nail today. Like so, something like that. Yeah, she scolded her. They forgave each other just like every other episode, I guess, that's been happening. And yeah, Kara and Wynn, they mm. actually had a moment there, finally. Kara was feeling like she wasn't good enough as far as being a reporter. And he was like, no, 
you know what? Screw Snapper. You you write what she's because she was like, oh, I have passion win. I can't keep that inside me. And he's like, yeah. yeah, just let it out, girl. Like, so you know, just being that moral support for her. He's so like level headed. Yes, he is. Out of everyone there, he is. That's for sure. Yeah. Because he gives advice in the field when they're doing the Supergirl stuff and in their personal lives, which is mm-hmm. awesome. They need somebody like that because everybody else seems so scrambled with their feelings. Kara, Jean, and Alex. They're actually pretty good this episode. They just kind of rolled with everything that was going on. There wasn't too much arguing between them. Jean and Alex kind of reminded Kara, who at times was pretty upset at herself because she couldn't protect the president, that you can't always be there. And when you can, at least you were. And that the president was lucky to have her watching over. Yeah. So yeah, that was pretty awesome. Then we got the Kara and Lena. And I was telling Jeremy that that relationship right there is so interesting to me because it mirrors the Smallville Clark and Lex. Like almost exactly how it was. Like, Let me be your bud. Exactly. Basically, they have like such a good, they have such good chemistry with each other. But I feel like because Kara's hiding something, mm-hmm. Lena's going to figure out or try to figure out. Yes. What's wrong with her? And that was very close this episode yeah. for hey, uh, sure. Try this out. This is a um, alien yeah. tracker. I don't know how she I was got about away to say with meta human tracker. That's not the I right mean, show. Me- yeah, that's yeah. It's aliens. And I yeah, I don't know how she got away with that, but she was able to jack that thing up with her heat vision before yeah. you know, Lena could see. But yeah, they had a couple conversations this episode that which we liked and Lena was another friend who told her, you know, you can't let people decide what you want to do and inspired Kara to write the story the way she wanted to. Kara and Jimmy, they're okay. I like them like this. I'm just going to keep mentioning it. It's quick. It's literally like 5 minutes of the entire episode. Yes. I l- like I, I don't mean to sound like I don't like the character because I do like the character of Jimmy. Yeah. I like that they put him in this position where it's not weird anymore. Like it's not based on a love story they could have had. It's just they're friends. They yeah. get by in the real world mm-hmm. together and they have each other's back. So But that kind of sucks that he's not really involved with what what they're doing now. Oh uh, yeah, as far as Team Supergirl, yeah. he's kind of just like Team Catco now. Yeah. But yeah, this is his place. Like, I guess he was always out of place in that sense because, you know, he's just background to Superman mm-hmm. and then he moves to uh, National City, basically became the same thing with Supergirl. Yeah. So well, now he gonna, has a purpose now. Yeah, he's going to be back as in that Guardian. group. So... Well, not on the group, but like on his own. Oh, okay. As the Guardian. Oh, okay. Alex and Maggie. Definitely something might happen between the two. You know? Interesting. Yeah. Greg Berlanti didn't mention. I know it's like a... It's not It's not, not a that. weird thing for yeah. people to explore their orientation. Yeah. So uh, it was inevitable to have another gay character on the show. So Alex, you know, could have seen her going both ways because I felt like she had something going on with Lord, but he never came back. Yeah. Or at least not is not back He's yet. He's hiding. And she had a crush on Superman. So I assume that, you know, she's in the dude. But I mean, she could be in the both and that's fine. They have good chemistry too, Maggie yeah. and Alex, Alex. That's for yeah. sure. So we can't wait to see what what other missions they go on together and trouble they get into moving forward. And then we got John and McGann. Very brief, but yeah. John was like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Me like it. It's like, she goes bald and he's just like, ooh, I like it, girl. Ew. Um, <laughs> yeah, I love how that she like mirrored what he looked like as far as like his whole armor goes, unless yeah. that's normal for them. Maybe it is. You know? Yeah. Yeah, very brief encounter, but at least John realized that he's not on his own and I like how they made her his age nearly. So, like instead of it being like in the comics his quote unquote niece she could be a love interest mm, okay but that kind of scares me because that might mean that John might go out on his own at some point oh, hopefully no. not but that's where we're at and then the whole thing ends with Madam President just saying her goodbyes yes and then walking off and then revealing something her eyeballs and her face got all weird like got all alien like yes so she definitely has a way bigger part to play than just being the president that's for sure yeah what were your favorite scenes favorite scenes I, I like when i think it was the second encounter yeah with kara or kara and monel yeah where she knocked him to freak out uh, dude that was all the fights are so good in the season yeah there's so much more uh, yeah. hand-to-hand in this oh, what did you do on cbs you had such a big budget and you couldn't even like do this like th- there's more fighting in these three episodes than there were in that last season yeah which is kind of ridiculous but i mean 
We'll move past. All the action sequences were so good. Like yeah. the, the effects on Scorcher yes. were awesome. That was uh, sick. just just everything. Like and the the story is there. It doesn't bounce all over the place. Like there's actually a, a central story mm-hmm. and then they just break it up into groups. And it still leads into one main story at Which, the end. That's freaking awesome. I guess that's what we always wanted to see out of the, the show, and that's what they're giving us this season. They, they're actually listening to fans, and Bears will be happy. Not that much flying, and the flying that does include... I mean, the action that does include the flying makes sense. Kara did the twirl a couple times yeah, uh, to get to, the, the fire off. Yeah, That was really, really smart. She doesn't need nobody telling her what to do, which is awesome. Yeah, uh, And she used that to, to stop Scorcher as well. Yeah, that was freaking... That was amazing. So I, all the action scenes we loved and all the interactions, I guess, they're all very different from each other. Yes. And and really cool. And also Miss Martian, like her being introduced and everything and all these other people, like the, the plot twist with the president, that was, that was pretty cool. That's insane that they introduced how many, like five or six new characters in just yeah. one episode? Like five, uh, four or five, yeah. I think. That's pretty awesome. And, and not having it, just like what we said before, it's not like cramped. Jumbled, yeah. Yeah. They just do it like in an organic way. Yeah. Now we could get into Easter eggs, but you cool. see. The main one. Linda mm. Carter. Yeah. Madame President. Wonder Woman. Yeah. That was pretty cool. She mentioned, like, you think Air Force One is sick. Wait till you see my other ship. Invisible I, Jet reference. Yeah, I think that was just a reference. That's yeah. awesome. No, that's an Easter, yeah, that's an Easter egg right there. Okay. But yes, yeah, the way she talked to John too, was almost exactly the way you would think Diana would talk to him. Mm-hmm. Like, they just have that good, like, relationship to start off with. Yeah. Another Wonder Woman reference was when Kara did the twirl to... to Take the fire off of her. Oh, she does that? Yeah, she went... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, when she fought... What's her name? Scorcher. Scorcher f- the first time. Yes. Quantico. Maggie mentioned this, and she actually looks like the main character of that Priyanka Chopra. Mm. Yeah, she actually does. Uh, plays. Yeah. So that's pretty interesting. Daxum. Yeah, obviously, I mean, that's not really an Easter egg. It's more of like a just an important location. That's where he's from. That's where they tie in the whole... This is stories between Kara and... Monel. Yes. Mm-hmm. The ongoing feud. And then they both plans just end up getting destroyed. And then yeah. now they have even more in common. Any other Easter eggs? I think that's it. That's all I caught. Preview. The superhero fight club, the underground superhero fight club. Yes. And we are introduced to uh, Roulette. Forgot her n- yeah, Roulette. That's her name. If you people have watched our podcast or like, yeah, listen, watch whatever, you know that I'm such a big fan of Justice League Unlimited. And to see this play out, even though it's missing quite a few characters, it's just freaking awesome that we're actually going to see it here mm. this soon. Nice. Um, basically, Alex and Kara are investigating a murder of an unregistered alien, and it takes them to that fight club. And I'm pretty sure Maggie's in there as well as John. They, they make their way into that place. And it said that they're supposed to find themselves up against a surprising opponent, quote unquote. I uh, will Ooh. elaborate on, uh, you know what? We'll just talk about Ooh. it now. Either that surprising opponent will be the obvious Miss Martian. Yeah. Or it could be Jeremiah Danvers, who we think is... Cyborg thing. Superman. Yeah. You really think that they'd bring him in now? You never know. Just He's just... Four episodes into this new season? Maybe they're trying to hone his skills or something. Like, it's just they, they find it on an accident so why not tie it in that way you know what i'm saying it's not okay. like they're actually looking for the fight club they just happen to stumble upon it because of an investigation yeah what okay. more to tie it in that way sure would not be crazy yeah also kara takes manel under her wing and trains him so like we said something might develop there just in the same way that maggie and alex and john and mcgann will yes and then that leaves win and jimmy alone <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of sad, but yeah, they'll be you know having the bromans with you know him being the guardian and everything. Oh uh, man, and everything. Yeah, the hashtag yo broman. Broman. I know. It's I been a while. Got that hashtag last year when I tweeted out about Arrow with Diggle and Oliver. Yeah, the broman. That, that was amazing. But yes, they, they're gonna be doing the whole vigilante thing and probably failing horribly at the start. And we also theorize that maybe Jimmy might bridge that storyline of finding jeremiah if he's not introduced in this episode yeah and it'd be cool it'll bring like the whole guardian story to a point that makes sense mm-hmm. have ties to cadmus without making it really tied to cadmus i guess yeah and then there's the whole madame president thing who she is we 
don't have enough information. Like, all we know is that her face turned, like, red and veiny, and she had really, really, really diamond blue eyes. Crystal blue. She looked like a reptilian. Yeah. So, I mean... It's mm, it's very know. hard. Like we we really wanted the whole Dominators thing to start on Supergirl so that we could say that maybe she's the reason why she's so pro alien is that so it could leave the Earth susceptible to attack. Yes, and it would like tie in perfectly. Then she would have to bring in Barry for some help and and do all this. But it's the other way around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sadly, it, it's gonna start. Actually, the Arrow episode is called Invasion. The hundredth oh, episode, the, yeah. and then the. The episodes after that on Flash and Legends are called Invasion. Like okay. All of them are just... Like, I think it ends on... It's weird. It starts... It's a four-way crossover, but it goes from Arrow to Flash. Flash, it ends on him? Yeah. Okay. So that, that'll be interesting to see. But, you know, we kind of wanted it to go a certain way so that we could say, hey, we, we thought of that theory. But, you know, we'll we'll leave it open, I guess, until we get more info and we get a trailer for that four-way crossover, which is supposed to happen in, like, December or something. So nice. still a bit of time. Yeah. They're already, I think, almost halfway done filming it. Ah, okay. So hands hands up to them for, you know, working so fast with this. And that's another reason, right, why it started on Arrow? Because that's their 100th episode? Yeah, I okay. think so. And they're supposed to bring back, like, a bunch of characters like Laurel, his parents, Slade, and maybe some other villains, but we're not sure. Ray Harper. Ray Harper, yeah, that'll be awesome. But as far as uh, who Madam President is, we need to learn more to be able to guess what it is she is and what her whole plan or, or motive yes is. But yeah, it's interesting that they included that. I, I like that it was like a, a twist. Like it literally made us go like, oh, she's something. <laughs> <laughs> we're watching it. Yeah. yeah, I think that's pretty much it for theories. Yeah, I uh, yes, we tied in correct. pretty much everything very quickly. Yeah, what do you rate this episode? Uh, I give this 10 aliens who always say that they're the last son and daughters of a certain planet out of 10. <laughs> nice. Oh, damn. I'm just going to go simple. I'm going to give this 10 earthlings out of 10. Nice. Because you realize that they always say that I'm the last son of Krypton. I'm the last son of Mars. Yeah. I'm the last yeah. daughter of Krypton. I'm the last daughter of Mars. I'm the last grandchild of Mars. I'm the last, you know, <laughs> just, I'm the last father. Yeah. It, just, it just keeps going on and on. But it, it's cool that they're building a whole, like, uh, expanding on the universe. Mm. Oh, okay. As far as new characters and yeah. bringing them in in really cool ways. I think that the, the show, out of all of them, this show has improved the most. Yeah. Action, story, everything is probably the best out of the four, D, uh, yeah, the four DC TV shows. And nice. then it goes in that. Actually, you know, basically in the order that they play through is what our preference or my preference is. Mm. Except Legends okay. and Arrows would be like switched switched or tied at some parts. But yeah, this this one was really good. I, I really enjoyed this episode. They keep, you know, upping the, the awesomeness every time. What do you think? Yeah. Final I thoughts agree. on it. I agree. I, I really like how they, I emphasized this earlier, that they included so many characters in this one episode but it wasn't so jumbled. It wasn't so crammed like you were saying earlier. And yeah, I, I want to see more of Monel and Supergirl team up. And John. And John. And, and Miss Barry. Martian. I want Barry to show up with them. Yeah. That'd be so cool. Oh, another thing too is uh, it, with Monel there, we could eventually down the line uh, be introduced to the Legion. Legion of Superheroes. Yes, which yes. is going to be freaking awesome because the only time I saw that happen was on Smallville. And they did what they could with three characters from there. Mm. Cosmic Boy. Something Girl, a Saturn Girl, and Lightning, Lightning Lad. Lad. Yes. But, you know, this show definitely has the potential to keep getting better and better, and they really have surpassed what they did last season. Mm -hmm. And, like I said, it's probably the favorite of my shows right now. What do you think, Bears? It's good? I love this episode. Right? I'm excited to see more of what happens in this show. All right. Nice. So, go leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed, and go comment as well as what you thought about the episode and your theories. For what's to come. Tell me it's about the Batman on my channel, where I got eight shield going on. Damn. Awesome, I'm full swing, great. Be sure to check out our creators' co, as well as social links down below, and don't forget to leave your hashtags for this episode. What do you guys want to hashtag? Hashtag sketchy president. <laughs> hashtag what's his name? Monel. Car yeah, Kara and Monel. Hashtag Supergirl season two is awesome. Sweet. And hashtag welcome to Earth, I guess relevant a little bit sure uh be sure to leave those hashtags with 
your theories and thoughts on this episode. And with that being said, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Peace.